Meanwhile, on the other side of the universe... My name's Cassie, and I'm lost. Lost after pirates attacked my father's ship. Dad! I'll come back for you! But he didn't, so I went looking. And to help me, I hired the roughest, toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy. And that's when my troubles really began. Cassie's log. Star date, the 12th of February. We have temporarily delayed the search for my father for a short stop on a deserted planet for a, um, well, uh... What about here? No. Here? No! Why did you have to pick the only planet with nothing to go behind? Typical broad. Always judges a joint by its restrooms. Secluded enough for your highness? I still can't believe you bought a spaceship without a loo. My dad's had three. Then the sooner we find King Toilet, the better for both of us. I want to get paid, remember? 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 I remember when people lived here. Stinking sawdust. Who said that? I did. And who's you? I, who am all around you. Not the big guy. Look, I'm real sorry about all them bad things I did. That does not concern me! Who's your new loud friend? I am this world. And my name is Walter. Uh, nice to meet you, Walter World, but we really must be going. Oh, that's right. Run out on me. Great idea. Catch my vote. Like my people ran out on me as soon as they could build rockets. Because of my boils. And my dandruff. And my bad breath. I hope he doesn't show us his piles. You know, you and I have something in common, Cassie. We both know what it's like to feel lonely. But I can help you find your father. You can? If you do me a favor first. Oh, great. So all we have to do is make people want to live on him again. That's about as easy as nailing a jelly to a wall. Attempt 359 is failed. <laughs> you couldn't give that planet away in a packet of cornflakes. But maybe you could sell it. Listen, Kubrick's interdimensional resort is the cat. Meow for the fat cats and glamour pussies of the galaxy's glitterati, be they clothed horses, lounge lizards, or style gnus. All flock here on the recommendation of fashionable resort critic Jean Jacques Le Petit Pois. What? What? Hamster, how do you get to this place? Easy, just say the magic word money. Welcome to Kubrick's Interdimensional Resort. Please approach the portal. I prefer to face now. Welcome to Kubrick's. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I don't like your mustache. I meant, have you booked a room? Jean-Jacques Petitpois does not need to book a room. Monsieur Le Petitpois? Monsieur Le Petitpois? Monsieur Le Petitpois? Monsieur Le Petitpois? Oh yeah, that's me. You seem a lot furrier than the last time you were here. He can't be Jean-Jacques Le Petitpois. <gasps> you look far too young, darling. Mwah, mwah. Tina Brown Nose, editor of Snub Magazine. Delightful to see you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Take our honored guests to our finest rooms. After all, Kubrick's is the number one destination for the cream of cosmic society. But not for long. <laughs> I have no idea why we did that. This is our finest room. Bring in my bags. Too small. I'll build a bigger one. Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Of course there is, madam. 
It's fly soup. One of our specialities. Okay, what about the spider on the salad? Hello. Uh, that I have never seen before. Voila, your new room. Still too small. It is kind of perky. Manager, there's something disgusting floating in the swimming pool. Impossible. Eee! Hello again. This would never happen on Walter World. This way, folks, to the all-you-can-eat buffet! Wait! Who are these creatures? We don't have that kind of buffet! Room service! Send me for my room. I tell you, my room is full of bugs. Impossible! There have never been bugs in this hotel! Yeah, what's, what's up, up Doc? Doc? And you should see the hairs on my pillow. This would never happen on... I know, I know! Walter World! Conflicts in the beds? Check. Kip is in the sauna? Check. Now find the boiler room and really turn up the heat. By the time we're finished, this place will be about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Attempt 479 is a failure. <laughs> Ah, the bells of victory. I am Jean-Jacques Le Petit Pois, and I want my usual room. Yikes! <laughs> of course you do. It's in here. But it used to be upstairs. Uh, we moved it because of the building works. Sometimes it's just too easy. Ah! Aha, the boiler room. And somewhere around here, there are heating controls. Come on, where am I? Coffee break! But these are the hotel's multi-dimensional reality stabilizers. Someone has to watch them or something terrible may happen. We got donuts. Oh, donuts. <laughs> yes, looks like the right place to me. This hotel will soon be hotter than the inside of a hamster's furry underpants. <laughs> Service! Service! Yay! New balls, please. We booked a suite. But the size of you, sweets are the last thing you need. This is disgraceful. And yet you married her. Ah, marriage. Marry me and I'll give you everything you can afford. Henry, we're leaving. I hear Walter World is especially free of people like me at this time of year. And that is where we will go. Be sure you tell all your friends. If you can't tell your friends, tell mother. If you can't tell mother, then what have you been up to, you naughty little boy? Hamster, what's happening to us, eh? Ugh, either I'm getting funnier or the hotel's reality stabilizers are failing. <laughs> Whoops. Instead of being one hotel that's everywhere at once, it's becoming lots of hotels at the same time. We've got to get out of here. Uh, sounds good to me. Here's Jean Jacques. How dare you lock me in a cupboard? You've ruined my lovely hotel! The spaceship, boss. The spaceship. Taking candy from a baby. At last! Success! Mmm, <laughs> population. Wow, what a lovely, wow, soothing pool. And now for a proper sauna. Really cleans away that dead skin, doesn't it? You know, I really do think this place is going to take off. your side of the bargain. How do I find my father? <laughs> Have you tried looking down the back of the sofa? Hey, that's not funny. 
You said you could help her. Well, it's time she learned that sometimes the world lies to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have guests. He conned us. He conned us. He doesn't deserve all those visitors. Well, there are some visitors he does deserve. <laughs> Stop that! Stop that! Ouch! What are we taking him? <laughs>